Now, 3% of the population will be receiving an NBN satellite broadband service. And in this video, I want to talk about satellite broadband and talk about what the NBN satellite broadband service will be like. Now, uh, some of you will have a satellite broadband service already, and you'll know the basic characteristics of it, and I'll describe them now. Firstly, uh, satellite broadband in general has uh, speeds, downlink speeds, about one tenth of uh, fixed line broadband services, and monthly download limits, again, of around one tenth fixed uh, broadband services. Uh, secondly, uh, satellite broadband services cost more or less the same per month as fixed broadband services. Well, in fact, they don't. The, the cost of uh, providing a satellite broadband service generally exceeds the cost of providing a fixed line broadband service, the cost per subscriber. However, for the last few years, there's been a program called the Australian Broadband Guarantee, where the Australian government has paid the difference between the actual cost of a satellite broadband service and what you would pay, for example, if you had an equivalent uh, metropolitan fixed line broadband service. So the Australian government has picked up the gap. It's called the Australian Broadband Guarantee, and some of you may be on an Australian Broadband Guarantee or ABG service. Now, the third characteristic of satellite broadband is that the satellite link adds a delay of around a half a second, maybe more, maybe a little less. And that additional delay uh, affects significantly the quality, for example, of voice calls or the quality of Skype. And those of you who use satellite broadband will be very familiar with this. Okay. Now, despite these drawbacks, satellite broadband is much, much better than no broadband at all. So the NBN is introducing a satellite service, and it's going to be quite different from previous satellite broadband services, basically because it'll have far greater capacity. And in fact, there are two NBN satellite services. The first one is called the Interim Satellite Service, which has been available since 2011 to a limited number of subscribers. It's managed by Optus. It provides a peak downlink rate of 6 megabits per second, a peak uplink rate of 1 megabit per second. And uh, the, the idea with the Interim Satellite Service is to pr have some fairness in the way that it's allocated. So the top priority for this NBN interim satellite service is for people who've never had an Australian broadband guarantee service previously. Then after that, the next priority is for people who have an Australian broadband guarantee service, but which is more than three years old. Okay. Now, uh, the interim satellite service is available now from 2015 the long-term, the NBN long-term satellite service will become available and two new satellites will be launched to run it. And these satellites are currently being built for NBN Co. Now with the long-term uh, satellite service, it will have far greater capacity than either existing satellite services or the interim satellite service. And indeed the uh, monthly download limit is anticipated to be around 60 gigabytes. So what happens is each satellite uh, provides 101 spot beams, and a spot beam covers part of Australia. So you can imagine 101 individual beams, each covering around 2,000 subscribers. So the service is designed to, carry around, to cover around 200,000 subscribers. For each spot beam, the downlink capacity is 700 megabits per second. The uplink capacity is 200 megabits per second, shared between uh, 2,000 subscribers. The, uh, these two new satellite services will run in a new satellite frequency band called the KA band, which has much greater capacity than existing um, satellite bands. In addition, NBN Co. will be building nine new ground stations, and also NBN Co. is building a large backhaul network 
or the transit network. So the combination of these nine new ground stations and the backhaul network means that the NBN uh, long-term satellite service will have far greater capacity than existing satellite services. So the uh, long-term term satellite service, when it becomes available in 2015, will be providing, in the first instance, peak downlink rates of one megabit per second, peak uplink rates, uh, sorry, peak downlink rates of 12 megabit per second, peak uplink rates of one megabit per second. And as I said earlier, expected monthly download limits of 60 gigabytes. And for those of you on satellite plans, you'll know that that's a lot, lot more than you're getting now. Okay, so for those of you who will be getting an NBN satellite service, it will be a dramatic improvement from the service that you have now. Okay, so hopefully these uh, six videos have been useful to you. I'm a great supporter of the NBN project. I certainly hope that it runs to completion and that we get to uh, benefit from the greatly increased capacity which will provide for us now and in the future.